So today, I'm going to be beating every single Victus Easter egg that has ever existed in Call of Duty Zombies. Now, you might be thinking, Jake, why are you hyping this up, right? There's like literally four maps. Well, you see, you might be right, okay? There is only four maps. However, there's actually seven Easter eggs that you can do on the Victus maps. That's because on Transit, Diaries, and Buried, you can actually pick between Maxis or Richthofen. And both sides have their own Easter eggs, so I do both sides and I also do Tag the Totem, which technically means I do seven Easter eggs in this video. So all I ask for is a cheeky little like on the video. And now here's the deal, all right? If you guys like the video, I'll do a World War II Zombie stream tomorrow okay because i actually hate world war 2 zombies but i need to start learning the easter eggs all right so i'll stream tomorrow if this video gets a bunch of likes so yeah right without wasting any more time let's just jump straight into our first map which is transit right boys so here we are and we're on our first map this being transit now if you know anything about black ops 2 you'll know that when it comes to the victus easter eggs there's actually two sides that you can complete there's obviously being the rick's open side or the max's side and i feel like i'd be clickbaiting if i said i was gonna do every single victus easter egg and didn't do both sides all right because that means i'm only doing four easter eggs all right when let's be honest there's actually seven so yeah, we're going to be doing all of them in this video. And the side I'm going to start off with first, I think it's just going to be the Ricktop side because you guys might notice that the Max's side is actually the cannon side, right? So you know what? We'll start off with the non-cannon stuff and then we'll go on to the cannon stuff. I think that sounds good. So yeah, first things first, let's go ahead and turn on the power because that's something that's actually nice about this Easter egg compared to the Max's side is you don't have to keep power off. So yeah, let me go ahead and build power real quick. And something that is slightly annoying that we have to do is we've got to build the jet gun. Now, the issue with that is that there's like five parts, but it's scattered around the entire map. So it is a little bit annoying, but you know, I'm big brain. I know where all the parts are. So we'll grab ourselves the wire and we'll start running towards town. See, the level of Ricktop and Easter eggs are like really that difficult. I'd probably say like buried is the hardest, but even then we should be okay. Diorite is like piss easy. Like it is unbelievable how easy Diorite actually is. The Max side is a little bit more difficult for the Diorite Easter egg, but obviously it will come to that hurdle when we get to it. I'm not even going to think about it at the moment. But yeah, I kind of need to go into the bank. So we are going to have to end the round here. So where are you at zombies? Here they are. How many zombies are in round? one usually there's not that many also do i have an eight points in the bank oh my god i do thank god i was so worried there for a second yeah let me head in here and let's put on our first part to the jet gun so there we go and then if we head down here we can actually pick up a second part of the jet gun so where is it okay it's right there also by the bowie knife just because why not make my life a little bit easier all right let's go ahead and build this and you know what? i'm also gonna buy stamina up just so i can run extra fast also the bus is here could get a little bit quirky take the bus over to bus depot then ride it into the tunnel because we do need to go over that way anyways but then again is it just faster to run? Oh no, he's already on the move. Okay, we're back at the bus depot. While I'm here, actually, I'm going to go ahead and rebuy that quick revive. Well, how long is this guy going to take to go, bro? All right, we're on the move. I'm trying to think how many other parts we need to get. How many parts is there for the jet gun? I'm trying to remember. Is there four or five? I always thought there was five, but like in my head, I'm only counting four. Okay, well, let's go ahead and collect this part here. Oh, uh, how have I done this? How have I done this? I'll oh, get me back in here. How are you on my head, bro? I'm on the bus. You're actually back away. Okay, well, either way, me coming here is actually really important because now I can start hitting the box because I do need EMPs for this Easter egg. Plus, honestly, I could do with the ray gun. Like, I need some kind of explosive weapon. Um, this is not the ray gun. This is the SMR. This is criminal that you just gave me it. Oh, we got the uh, better box look perma perk. Maybe that means I'll get what I need straight away. No, okay, we got the hammer. Oh, we got monkey bombs. Um, I mean, that could work. Well, I mean, won't because I need the MPs. And there goes the box. Nice. Thank you, game. Oh, wait, we don't even need to use the uh, turbines to power up the lampposts because <laughs> we have power on. Actually, so used to in the max side. Uh, you know what? This will do. We're close enough to town. Also, how did the round then? I actually got scammed. All right, well, either way, let's go ahead and add this part onto the jet gun. So, a bam. And I think we need one more part then. And that is the one that's over by Nactor and Totem. So let me grab some more points. Uh, and then, yeah, let me head over there real quick. See, this Easter egg isn't hard. As I said, it just has a lot of running around. But yeah, I mean, if you hold out this turbine, you actually move a lot quicker. You know what? Actually, while I'm here, I might as well go ahead and move the box. This game, I'm still needed these EMPs. Also, it's bright as shit down here, bro. I can actually barely see. Bro, I'm actually standing out here just so I don't have to be in the ball lining white room. So, how many times am I going to get a ballistic knife, bro? Oh, we got a ray gun. Okay, that's good. Bro, now all we need is EMPs, but the game is actually refusing to give me them. It's like the longest I've ever gone about the EMPs. All right, well, let's just get back on our jet gun grind. See, what I should have just done is like kept teleporting until I got teleported somewhere nearby. You know what, boys? You live, you learn. Let's be real, all right? My first life lesson should have been the fact that I'm on transit. Like, if I'm on transit, my life has gone downhill, right? Something has gone terribly wrong. I think, all right, I've got to do this shit twice. But yeah, here is the last part. Yeah, let's actually start teleporting around since we need to head back to uh, the town. So come on, game. Give me a good teleport. And we are back at Bus Depot. I mean, I could run over there, but uh, I'd really rather just not, you know. How are we back here? Uh, you know what? This will do. Okay, so if we add this part on here bam there we go hold f for the jet gun now do you guys remember when you say like like oh yeah hold f for the jet gun or something like that i remember it saying that and then obviously they like removed it but i'm pretty sure someone told me that on like the wii u version of the game uh, it still says that which is some real crazy stuff uh, but yeah now that we have the jet gun still need to get emps i guess like i could just do the next step now so if i make my way in here I need to look straight up and i believe just like shoot the entire jet gun all right so here we go it should work maybe i don't know we're about to find out um 
I'm just gonna have to assume that it did work. I mean, luckily, I think all the parts are just here. Uh, but yeah, if we did it right, which I can't tell because I'm not playing a Stoolinger, which was a big mistake. Going forward, I'll make sure I'm definitely playing a Stoolinger. But yeah, all we need to do now is just get a bunch of kills under here with like an explosive weapon. And again, if we've done it correctly, then we'll hear Rick Top and speak, which I kind of can't hear. Or I did not think this through. All right, here we go. Bam. I get some kills. Bro, I actually have no idea how I'm gonna be able to tell if this is really done. Okay, Codename Pizza said that it's 25 explosive kills, but he also says that you have to blow up the uh, the jet gun on top of the nav car table, which is a little bit weird. Is that how you do it now, or? Bro, these zombies are actually so slow. Like, why you gotta be walking? I mean, I guess we'll just have to like take a guess. I mean, to be fair, when we hit 40 kills, or like, well, no, we hit 50 kills. All right, I'll play it safe. When we hit 50 kills, yeah, I feel like then I'll be comfortable enough to leave, try and get myself the EMPs. It would have been nice if there was like some kind of sound, but you know, I guess that's my bad for not playing a Stoolinger. Bro, actually, come on, you're actually so slow. I mean, I guess I am doing it on round four, but like, still, bro. All right, I only want to get like five more kills, anyways. Oh, I just heard a noise. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to jinx anything, but that noise could have been the like indication that it's done. I don't know, though. Okay, we're at 50 now, anyways, so. Oh my god, you are actually joking, bro. He's got double swipe so hard. You know what? It's fine. Don't even worry about it. I'm not even sweating it, bro. Also, what is that? Bro, he was just floating in midair. I mean, that is like heavy green sparking, you know? So I guess that means we're, yeah, we're done. Okay, so yeah, all we gotta do now is get the EMPs. So where even is the mystery box? I think it's over here. Or if I die, by the way, like to lava here, I'm going to cry. Like there will be some tears. Oh my god, please. Game made it. Game, I don't even want you playing my emotions right now. Yeah, I think the box is up there though. So who knows, boys? We could get it right now. Also, our turbine's still here. Let's go. W to the turbine. Alright, come on, game. Just be nice to me. Please just give me what I need. I'm actually begging here. Bro, how many times am I gonna get the hammer? It's actually the last thing I want here again. Oh my god, let's go. Okay, we can finish up this Easter egg right now. All I've got to do, I believe, I don't know if actually you need to do this with the mod, but if I come over here, uh, open up a portal, and then I like throw an EMP and then throw another EMP as soon as I land. Is that gonna be it? Oh yeah, there we go. Look, it's going, bro. Uh oh, where's the portal? I want to see the portal. Oh, the, the tower, sorry. Uh, why isn't it going? Um, oh, okay, that EMP there, of course. But yeah, there we go. Am I gonna be able to see the tower from over here? Uh yeah, there it is. Look, you can see it. Look, there it is, boys. Hello and blue. Well, I mean, I guess I could like try get over there here real quick. Uh, nope. I mean, you can see it's done anyways. Oh, well, there we go. Damn, look at that boy's going all blue and stuff. Very cool stuff. But yeah, that is transit. At least for the Ricktop inside. We'll come back for the Max side in a bit. But uh, yeah, you know, I guess with that out of the way, uh, let's just jump straight onto our next map, which is going to be Die Rise. Right, boys. So here we are on our second map, this being Die Rise. Now, the Ricktop inside for Die Rise is actually really easy. So I'm not even that worried. I actually do this in my like sleep, get a little nap, bro, real quick. You know, it's easy, right? And of course, we're playing as the Rusty. Now, I know I said during transit that I was going to make sure I'm playing as Two Ninja from now on. But look, all right, I can't give up the opportunity to play as the Russy himself, bro. Look, right, me and Russ, man, we go way back. You guys just don't even understand. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna actually speed run through this Easter egg, okay? So obviously, first things first, let's go ahead and get all of the parts of the trample steam. I think the last part, no, it's not over there, which means it has to be here. All right, so let's put that down there. Do I want to feel a bit quirky and do the jump? I don't know. Is it actually worth it? I mean, I kind of have to. All right, come on. Oh, there is a zombie coming up. Yo, what is good, my guy? Yeah, you ain't catching me off guard. Ooh, okay, there we go. That was some squeaky bum time, but look, right, we get those. So now that we're down here, go ahead and build the trample steam so we have that on this last part here and there we go we're done now i did want to take the elevator back up but we kind of can't so i won't like waste my time doing anything or like doing nothing i mean so i want to head over here real quick and have a look at what this mahjong tile is because i'm pretty sure one always spawns there so this one is north uh, and it's black so let me open up a cheeky little text document real quick so north black uh, i don't think i'm able to see any more mahjong tiles so yeah now we just kind of have to wait but it is on its way i'm pretty sure one can spawn back there but obviously i don't really want to spend the points to get back there. I mean, then again, actually, we're about to get, like, infinite points, so. Is there one back here? Uh, I don't see it. Calm, that's absolutely fine. It was worth checking. Alright, here we go. So, the reason I'm going back up here, right, is because I want to take the elevator and spawn all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and essentially, that'll let me access the bank, and it'll also let me turn on the power, which is kind of, like, the first step. So, right, let's get out of here. Go ahead and withdraw quite a few points. I mean, to be fair, we're doing the max side, so it's not like we need too many points, but still can never go wrong. So, let's turn on the power. Also, a Mahjong tile here. Is that black two. Yeah, that's actually really good because that means we have one full like set. So while I'm here, uh, I might as well also build the liquefier since we are going to need that as well. Also, what I can do is I can come over here and step on this symbol since besides power, that is like also the first step. So I'll add this part on here and hopefully the last part is just over here. It's not. So where is that? I actually have no idea. I mean, I assume it has to be somewhere around here, right? Maybe I'm straight up capping. Oh, it's here. All right, so let's rush down to the bottom and go ahead and build this. So bam, and there we go. Liquefier has been obtained. While I wait for the uh, funny elevators to get back, I'm going to 
gonna have a look around for another Mahjong tile because I know there can be one that spawns down here. It spawns like a shelf, yeah, here. So this one is Blue West. So if we can find the number for blue, then we'll be able to do the uh, entire like Mahjong step. Kind of off, just like guessing. You know, I'm built like that. Also, is this on its way up? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'll just take this one up. No point in messing around with it. Oh, yo, what's good, zombie? Plus, you want to like show up? Alright, I guess. A little bit worried he's gonna two tap me, but look, alright, I believe we're already out here. See you later. So I want to check down here. Is there a Mahjong style? I think Mahjong style. A new version of Gangnam style drop in 2024. But what is even the point of this, bro? Like, I just bought that door, and then I proceeded to buy this door. Bro, thank the Lord I got fucking basically in for the point. What a waste that would have been. Okay, have a little look see around here. I don't see anything. That's calm. Honestly, don't even need that Mahjong tile, anyways, because I'm guaranteeing it. If I make my way down here, there's gonna be one on this chair. Bam, look at that, boys. How does he do it? That was a complete guess, by the way. So don't call me a hacker, but yeah, that tells us that red is east, and by default, green has to be south. So we pretty much only have to find one more Mahjong tile for us to be done with that entire step, which is like easily the most infamous, like hardest step of this entire Easter egg. Even though once you know how to do it, it really isn't that difficult. Like you only need to know like a few locations because 99% of the time, at least one will spawn there. That's how it feels from my experience anyways. Anyways, actually we do need to be working on other stuff. So I shouldn't have um, actually left all the way down there as quick as I did. What I need to do is I need to make my way back up to the M14 uh, because one, I can head up like I can buy the SVU. And two, I need to find another symbol on the floor, which could be the one up here. Also that zombie just literally went through the floor. Let's go. We actually love that forum, but it coming here. There could be a Majon style on the step. Uh, no, there is not one. Yeah, buy the M14. I say the M14, I mean the SUU. Don't even worry about boys. You guys know what I meant, right? What are you guys playing? There could be one on the stairs, I'm pretty sure. Like somewhere over here. Uh, I don't see it, but to be fair, it usually isn't that one. So it's not this symbol here either. So I don't have to worry about that. So I can head back down here. So I can also come over here and check this symbol. So is it this one? No, it's not. So yeah, it has to be one of the ones down by uh, like the power switch and stuff like that. So here's a Majon tile. So what is this? That is red free. So yeah, we pretty much have the entire Majon tile step like figured out now. Just too small like that. If I can find one more though, like that'd be kind of nifty because that would mean that I don't even have to trial and error the last two uh, like combinations. And uh, perfect, there we go. So green is four, which means that blue west has to be one. So there we go. So the code is west, north, east, and then south. Huge boys. It's honestly like oddly satisfying when everything at the Easter egg just goes well for you. Because usually, right, when it comes to my luck, everything just goes to shit. So when it doesn't, it's really nice. Also, here was the first symbol. Uh, but yeah, what do I want to do now? I'm pretty sure we're going to go shoot the balls out of the dragon's mouth now. And don't take that out of context. Don't make it weird, boys. All right, it's just how the step is designed. Honestly, not even doing like that bad in terms of like time. Like, only been 13 minutes. Actual speed run. Like, yeah, I know this Easter egg can be done in six minutes, but you know, shut up. Did that honest to God ask? No. See, I actually do really like the uh, BO2 Easter eggs. Like, when it comes to the Victor side, like, they don't seem super unfair. Like, as long as you know what you're doing, it's really not that bad. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take this up. I noticed a trick to like jump up, but never make it work. Oh, it doesn't matter. So now that we're up here, we've got to shoot the balls and make them real wet. Now, again, don't take it out of context. Don't make it weird. It's just how it has to be. So if we shoot it 20 times, yep, as you can see, it's starting to spin, which now locks us into the Richtofen path. So we just got to shoot this bad boy at 10 more times. So there we go. So both of those are now spinning, which as you can see, means that we're on track uh, to complete in the Z-stroke. So now it is a way to do this next step from down here. But honest to God, I actually have no idea how you're meant to do it. It's like you've got to place it somewhere around here, but I'd honestly rather just not risk it and just go up and do it from up there. Usually I like doing it over there, but that would mean I'd have to go all the way around. And honestly, that just sounds like effort. How do you do this? I can't figure it out, but I need to just watch a guide on it. Yeah, okay, so leave, we just gotta place it on this. Just facing towards the tower. Uh, and then we just gotta get zombie kills. I think I, I keep hearing you can fl like fling yourself, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Can you just die, please? There we go. I mean, I guess I might as well start flinging myself. I think that's going towards the tower, right? Yeah, it should be fine. I'll just get zombie kills. So come on, boys. I mean, that looks like it's getting launched towards it. Maybe it needs to go like slightly to the left. I mean, uh, I think that's working. Yeah, that's working, bro. They're going straight towards that bad boy. All right, come on, zombies. Make your way over. Bring this one over here. So just keep doing it. I don't know how many kills it actually takes, but all right, just keep getting kills. Hopefully, I'm going to break it. Oh, I think we did it. Yeah, there we go. So I think, yeah, it's going to spike the tower up. So now all I've got to do is just make my way over here and input the code. And then that's the entire Easter egg done. Also, that is the sketchiest looking trample steam position I think I've ever set in my entire life. You know what? I'm going to risk it anyways, boys. We're going for it. Okay, there we go. So I think it goes west, north, uh, this one, this one, right? Did we do it? Oh, we did it, boys. Look at that. How long did that even take me? Bro, that literally took me less than 20 minutes. That actually might be like a PB for me. Obviously, I know it's not crazy in terms of like world record or anything like that, but bro, I was pretty efficient today or I was kind of happy with that. I mean, to be fair, like the Richthofen side is the much easier side. Essentially, like the Maxis side is easier for transit, but then the Richthofen side is easier for die rise because the Maxis side in this Easter egg like kind of sucks to be honest because you've got to get box luck and like the steps are kind of all over the place. So not really looking forward to that, but there we go, boys. We did it. That is two of the Richthofen sides down. Let's go ahead and finish up our last Richthofen Easter egg, which is on Buried. Right then, boys. So here we are. We're on Buried. 
Oh my god, bro, I just made that jump. Yo, I'm insane. Oh, no way we do it again. Okay, all right, whatever. But yeah, we're on buried. So this Easter egg isn't that bad. Obviously, we just need a bit of luck, which is never usually on my side. So hopefully we just like pop up. Also, I'm going to withdraw so many points here. Look at that, boys. 40k should be enough. If that's not enough, I'm going to be in shock, bro. Uh, but yeah, this Easter egg isn't actually that bad. So I'm just going to hope that everything goes smoothly. Also, there's actually no reason to take the Galvan Knuckles anymore because I found out that the Bowie knife can do the whole sign step in the uh, mineshaft. So yeah, not even catching me playing around anymore, bro. Not wasting 6,000 points. Uh, but yeah, so for this Easter egg, we're going to need the Paralyzer and we're also going to need the Time Bomb. So hopefully we get those relatively quick. Obviously, just in case the box does move, I'm going to have Leroy quickly lock it down. So heading here, where is the candy? Uh, there we go. So I'm going to start adding all the parts to the guillotine, like this little wire thing here. So there we go. And then let's get Leroy to follow us. So come on, big boy. Right, now this is the trick, all right, to get something good every single time, right? When Leroy smacks it, you hit it. Wait, oh, fuck. I think we missed it. Bro, see, but there we go, boys. Look. I'm on every single time. I know the tricks. All right, well, hopefully he did lock it down because if he didn't, I might cry. Also, we need to make sure we don't take monkey bombs. If we take monkey bombs, we lose our time bombs for some reason. So come again. Give me the paralyzed. Oh my god, bro. What is the luck today, bro? We're popping off. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that by any means. So let's just continue on with the rest of the steps. Obviously, we'll continue building the guillotine. So let's just add this part on here. And it should be another part literally just above us. Yep, but there we go. And we also need the crystal, which I'm pretty sure is right above us. So I think, yeah, it's over there. But while I'm also here, I'm going to fill up all of these crystal balls. So bam, ball number one has been fulfilled. Plus, that's the crystal. And add that onto here. So I think that's the entire guillotine built now. And also go ahead and fill up the second ball real quick. So bam, as Max is yelling at me, telling me that I'm doing the wrong thing. Well, tough look, bucko. That stopped me. Right, I know what it is. I'm feeling my prime at the moment. Like, I feel like I can beat any Easter egg left, right, and center. I mean, hopefully buried is nice to me though, because uh, there is a few steps on buried that can be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but great, right, I believe. Also, we haven't even done the power. I'm actually that on it at the moment. Okay, make our way through the witch's house. And I just need to fill up the final orb, which is right here. So bam, there we go. So now when we return back to the main area, the map there should be a glowing lantern but i just want to get my free perk first so bam what are we gonna get we got stamina up okay that's actually not bad like all i have to do is just turn the power which we're about to be outside of as soon as we make our way through this house so here we go let's turn that on then where is this lantern yep there it is okay one two three four and then throw and then bam oh that missed bro that's actually embarrassing okay there we go so pick this up now since we're doing the ricked up inside to fill up the lantern all we have to do is just get witch kills so back into the witch's house we go i guess i'm also gonna buy double type just so that pdw isn't super weak so let's just keep getting witch kills until the dinging stops. Okay, not too many more witches, I don't think. I mean, it's starting to get real high pitch, so I think that's it. Yeah, nice. But we are speeding through this right now. Holy shit, bro. I'm like having no chill today. I mean, we do have a lot of Easter eggs we need to get through, so the quicker we get through these, the quicker we can start on the maxi side. So yeah, let's go ahead and add the lantern on here. Now I've got to pull up the Mr. Rough Waffles guide to the crypt this little bad boy. So what have we got? We got a dry bone. I believe that's ground. So there we go. Nice. And then all we've got to do now is grab ourselves the Bowie knife. And we also need to get Vulture's aid, actually. I completely forgot about that now vulture aid is actually really important because if we don't have it i don't actually think this next step would be possible so let's come in here quickly grab his booze i'm actually surprised it was in here honest to god that was actually really lucky because i was thinking to myself i was like why am i going into the like the rarest spot in the entire world bro instead of just going to the bar you know what can i say actual fucking telekinesis psychology expert i don't even know if that makes sense but yeah right set over here all right leroy oh smash into that bro just like now you guys should smash the like button that's fucking <laughs> little cringy little transition bro like you gotta give me credit for that right you gotta like the video now okay so all we've got to do now is actually learn how to fly first of all fucking hell uh, we just need to head into here and we just need to knife uh, the free science we got dry where is bone at now come on boys just because it's easter egg it consists of balls and bones all right it's not funny all right it's not funny all right who are you seven i right, grow up all right yeah that's ground i'm pretty sure this last one here is bone so let's go ahead and knife that and a wisp should spawn yep there we go and all we've got to do is just run into it so let's head oh my god oh my god we're messing this up so we are fumbling bro okay grab this we might have to retry it but obviously i'm gonna hope we don't have to have this obviously it's the next spawns down here so come on hopefully we can get it did we just miss it oh my oh wait, no we didn't go 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 come on we'll be quick about this uh, go 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 okay it's in position I think literally all i gotta do is just touch it there we go nice wait come on please tell me we got that yes we did okay let's go actually too easy so all we gotta do now is just get five kills like when they've got this weird like a little wisp orb thingy around them so that max ammo is so big bro i wonder if i just throw it on there it's kind of a little bit risky of me doing this but look right if it does work the way i'm hoping it works and by that i mean it keeps like the little white orbs that are going around it even when i go back in time and that max ammo there is going to give us two attempts at this next step which is kind of needed because to be honest i do struggle a little bit on this next step all right i'm not the greatest at it i'm the first one to admit okay so kill you and come on take you out oh and that's it right yeah it is okay so let's hug this thing and then let's go back in time boys all right so essentially we've got to find the dead body so here's rust man nothing was found of course got a misty over here oh come on come on come on search search, search. Oh, did i get it i don't know i don't even know if i searched it it didn't even come up with anything oh my god dude you're joking okay let's just play it safe and not die here this is kind of unfortunate yeah we didn't 
being searched. The body? No, no, please don't die. Wait, I'm playing it safe. I'm going to go search for different bodies. Hopefully, that's not the one that has the uh, switch. But I think there's also one back there, bro, that I can't even access. Yeah, maybe before I go back into it, uh, I do a little bit of preparation. Oh, there's Martin here, but imagine he has the switch and nothing was found. Oh, it actually could have been Misty right there, bro. Oh, that's annoying. All right, whatever. Should have already gone into the jug, but... Although, yeah, the wisps do keep uh, spawning, so... Oh, but I lose my pine bomb. Wait, what? Oh, that kind of sucks. All right. Oh, damn it, bro. Okay, whatever. I think definitely, though, before we go into it again, uh, we should really consider breaking down some barricades. Because although I only found, like, technically two of the bodies, like, I searched two of the bodies, I'm pretty sure I found all four of them. So I should have had it on that attempt, but that was just my bad. Also, I am going to buy Galvan Knuckles after all, uh, because I want Leroy to start turning some, like, point things that I drop into, like, different types of power-ups. So hopefully we can get max ammo. So, Leroy, brother, make your way over here. Okay, so add a thousand. Obviously, bring Leroy over here. Now, in case he doesn't turn it into a max ammo, I'm going to get ready to go grab another piece of candy. So what's he going to turn into? A nuke? Not what I want. So if I'm quick about this, could only have to spend the uh, 1,000 points for the candy. Not have to put down any more points. Oh my god, bro. I'm not being very quick. So the zombie is caught locking me right now, bro. Oh, it dies. Oh, bro. Unless Leroy is like literally the quickest man on earth. Bro, turn it into. Turn it into. Go, go, go. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, you clown, bro. Oh, that sucks. Oh, unfortunate to say the least. To be honest, I probably shouldn't have even risked it. So now we're going to wait for him to get out of his rage mode. Actually, no, I don't. Yeah, he's going to start crying. And if I just meet him in his cage, he should just immediately come straight back out, right? Yeah, nice. What an absolute idiot, bro. Leroy is not the smartest tool in the shed, all right? All right, come here. Bro, what are you getting stuck? Bro, like, this is the one thing about having vultures in that just annoys me, bro. Like, if he gets caught in it, he just starts, like, acting up, bro. I think he's funny. It's silly, like, stop playing with Leroy. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and blow that up. Don't blow it up, bro. It's not a fucking explosion, Jerry. Uh, but yeah, with that open, obviously, if a body does spawn back there, we can go ahead and search it now. Yeah, only now it's just Leroy to make his way down here. So come on, little boy. Give you the candy. All right, a new tactic, all right? I'm gonna go grab some candy before he even turns it into the next drop. Hopefully, that way I can outbeat any zombies or anything like that. Might try to block my way. Uh, yeah, okay, it's a double points. Oh, Leroy, bro, you are actually playing, bro. Even Leroy's trolling me or the zombies trolling me, bro. Right, come on, quick, quick, Leroy. Here you go. So, this is a little tactic that even I, like, you know, I personally developed. Essentially, the way it works is that if Leroy transforms an already existing drop. You should have a higher likely chance uh, of turning it into the drop I want because it's less drops in the pool. So, for example, I can't turn this into another carpenter. Like, it is physically impossible. So, that means it has to be something that I want more. Actually, out of my way, zombie. Oh, Leroy, bro, come on. It bro, turn it into an insta kill of all things. So, like, come on, bro. Oh, speed up. Okay, go, 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 go. You'd think that this eventually has to be a max ammo. Oh, we got one. Nice, Leroy. I knew I could rely on you. My homie, my dog, my baby boy. All right, but here we go. Let's go again. There's not one there. Is there one back here? Yeah, there is. There's Misty back here. Okay, does it have to switch? No, nothing was found. I'm not lucky. Oh, Rustman's here. Nothing was found. Okay, that's fine. Nothing over here. No bodies over here. That's fine. Head over here. Any bodies up here? Nope. There's no one there. Nobody's in the graveyard. Nobody's over here. Bro, where is everybody? Hey, come on. This has to be it. Please, please, Malton. Do me a solid. Nothing was found. You are joking, bro. That sucks. So that means the last body has it, but I have no idea where that is. Oh, come on. Oh, now you down me, bro. You're actually trolling me again. You are fully trolling me. That was disrespectful. What are the chances? To be honest with you, I don't even know where I didn't check. So where is the candy I dropped? I'm not even down. I down somewhere around here, right? So like, candy has to be here, but it's not. Uh, okay, hopefully I've glitched out the candy because I kind of need that. Oh, okay, that's here. All right, come on, Leroy. Make your way over here, big dog. Oh, you are tr you're trolling me, bro. Leroy, bro, stop begging for the walls. All right, yeah, you better turn this into a max ammo. Or I'm not going to be happy with you, Leroy. What's a nuke there as well? Oh, Leroy, you're trolling me again. Bro, actually thinks he is so funny. And we're getting every drop but the drop, actually. That is crazy, bro. All right, let's try this again. Oh, you, what? I lost my quick revive. I'm sorry. Actually, what do you... When did I lose my quick revive? Wait, how did I lose my quick... Wait, what? Bro, you've actually been baffled. Okay, I'll just get back to where I was. All right, numbers, I'm back to where I was. Let's go ahead and give this another old bad boy a try. Uh, I do have Jug this time, so hopefully we won't die. Obviously, who knows? It's Rusty. Nothing was found. Unlucky. Got Stoolinger back here. Nothing was found again. Got Mountain. Found the switch, bro. Let's go. Actually, too fucking big. About time, honestly. Of course, it takes me about seven years uh, in my last game, but then this game, I find it first try. You know, whatever. It's our game. You do you. We even found the last body, bro. Like, how does he do it? Found all four of them in one go. All right, well, let's just wait until we get out of this, like, whole sequence. Hopefully without downing, because I don't have quick revive. But there we go. So with that done, let's go ahead and add this part on. There we go. Now we're on to the switch step. So this step is normally a pain in the ass, but on solo, it's actually not that bad, to be fair. So let me make my way through the witch's house really quick. Come on, let me through. So essentially, what we've got to do, right, is we've got to pull these switches. So we'll pull the blue one first. I got to take note, by the way, of, like, what I'm pulling. So blue was first. Where is another? 
another switch. All right, here you go. We'll pull green, uh, then we'll pull red, and then we'll pull yellow. So is any of those right? No. Okay, none of those are in the right order. Okay, so that kind of sucks, but you know what it is what it is. You kind of just have to like keep doing this over and over again, like bit by bit, gathering more and more information, and then eventually you'll get the code. Kind of sucks because it is just like trial and error, but it is what it is. So we're back. So we've got blue here again. Obviously, I don't want to pull blue first because we know that's not going to be in the first order, like slot. They're all just like over here. I wonder if they're still here. I mean, one door is. This is yellow. So you know, we'll pull yellow first because we don't fuck it. Why not? Then we'll pull red. Then I guess we'll pull blue. And then we just need to find where the green one is. Here it is. Okay, so is any of these right? Uh, yeah, okay, so yellow is in the right spot. So we know for a fact that yellow has to be first. Obviously, the others were all incorrect. So from now on, we want to make sure that yellow is in the first slot every single time. If we can just find the second one, then like we should have it. Actually, I wonder if you could technically figure it out from here. So yellow has to be first. Red can't be second. Green can't. So it has to be blue that's second. Hold up, boys. Let me cook real quick. All right, blue has to be second. Then green has to be third. And red has to be fourth, boys. All right, I figured it out. So bam, that should be right. Bam, look at that. But I'm actually too smart bro honestly bro you think i just binged an entire season of rick and morty before this because i'm actually got that big brain iq at the moment but yeah with that now onto the final step of the easter egg this being the most infamous step in this entire easter egg sharpshooter step now i know on maxis it's a lot easier because a little spoiler you don't actually have to hit any of the targets right it's coded that way for some reason that's how the solo easter egg mod uh, but i'm pretty sure with the ricked off inside you have to hit at least 14 targets so if i can i'll try and pull it off there is leroy there he is right, i don't know if i'll be able to make a crawler on round three but i'll give it a good shot Shot. Uh, bro, I actually tanked it. Holy shit. He didn't even take any damage. Oh, Leroy, you fucking little baby, bro. Oh, Leroy, don't do it, bro. Leroy, don't be crying. Why are you tearing up for? Honest to God, bro. Like, come on, just grow a pair. All right, come on. All right, you come. Oh, we made a cooler as well. Oh, my God. Okay, you pick him up. There we go. Nice. All right, so with that, we can now finish up the entire Easter egg. So if I come over here, we can make a wish. Then all we got to do is shoot 14 targets. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull it off. Might need to shoot a few from like down there, but all right, I believe. All right, in there. Also in there. Bro, I'm missing. Oh, bro, I'm, 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 I'm speechless, bro. I'm, 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 I'm confused. I'm confused right now, bruv. Oh, Leroy, worst time to get in the way. Uh, have we managed to maybe pull it off? We shoot a few down there. Come on. Yes, nice. We got it. All right, so technically, that is the buried Easter egg done. However, what I want to do is I want to come in here real quick. And as you can see, all three of those are now blue. So I can come over here, press the button. And if I'm not mistaken, that should begin the Rick Toppin Super Easter egg, which uh, I'm not going to like. I'm, I'm just not going to watch, to be honest. I've already seen it a million times, all right? I'm sure you guys have probably seen it a million times. But you do get some cool rewards. You get four mule kick slots, or like weapon slots. Uh, you also get like a permanent fire sale for the entire entire game. Actually pretty crazy, but yeah, we're buried complete for the Richtofen side. I say we waste no more time, all right? And we roll it back all the way to transit uh, and start on the Maxis side. Hello, boy. So starting the Maxis side, obviously we're back on transit, unfortunately. Actual disaster, but the Maxis side really isn't that bad. It's definitely quicker than the Richtofen side because we don't have to build a jet gun, which is a massive W. However, that doesn't mean it's easy by any means. We still need to make our way over town first so we can get ourselves a bunch of points just so that we can hit the box and try and get the EMPs. So hopefully our look is a little bit better than it was on the Richtofen side. I mean, we're pretty much at town, so I'll just make the last, like, little run over. Make a few cheeky little hops. There we go. Bam, just like that, we're in town. So let's toss a grenade in there. And then let's withdraw a couple of thousand points. Probably say 30k should be enough. If it's not, I'd be very surprised. And then do I just want to run straight down to the power station? I think I might just do that. Like, instead of trying to risk a teleport, like, just go for it. Honestly, why not? But also, let's be coming over here and buy the Bowie knife. This means no denizens are getting them off pace now. Actually gone. Never even heard of a denizen. All right, so now that we're at power station. We real quick just need to build the power just so that we can turn it back off. So let's turn the power on. And as soon as the other guy drives out, we'll just turn it back off and then be on our way. Right, I feel so bad for anyone watching this at night. Actually blind them. Okay, so there we go. Turn off the power. So like, honestly, we're already like pretty close to being done with the Easter egg. <laughs> I'm not even playing, bro. If we can get some good luck with uh, the Avogadro, then yeah, we could have this Easter egg done real fast. Just need to get good luck with the EMPs. But look, right, I believe. I think my luck has come around. Right, come on, game. I need one good teleport over the diner, please. And we got to town. Thank you for actually nothing here. Bro, it just keeps teleporting me to the same, like, two locations. Come on, please, game. Bro, Busty Poke, you know what? To be fair, uh, I can destroy my turbine as well. Ah, uh, never mind, I guess. If I, like, place it in the lava. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I can go ahead and get myself a new turbine as well, just so that it's, a, like, full health already uh, for the Avogadro step. So, come on, game. I just need a little bit of luck. A tiny, whiny little bit of luck, please. Uh, you know what? We might be okay with this one. I mean, I do have to, like, cross this big pit of lava, but I mean, we got the turbine trick, so hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah, okay, we got it. Honestly, too easy. All right, game. All I need now is just to get the EMPs. Please don't make me run around the entire map for them. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Wait, I told you, luck is going to be on my side, finally. Okay, so, actually, let me not just, like, leave immediately. I need to get a weapon, like, while I'm in the cornfield, because otherwise I'm going to have to knife everything, and that's just a little bit squeaky, so give me, give me a good weapon as well. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, the MAA one, I mean, it's not crazy, but it'll do what? It's going to give me the ballistic knife. I mean, that is kind of an all right, actually, because of the ballistic knife. Is it because of the ballistic knife? Yeah, that makes sense, Jake. Because of the Bowie knife, a little bit stronger. RPD, I mean, that's not bad, but a little. There we go. Okay, so now I just need to go to the cornfield. So come again, one solid. Oh, you are joking, bro. Is my turban already breaking? How? How's it already breaking? Well, that's not good. That's actually really not good. Yeah, it's, how did it break already, bro? What do you mean? Bro, like, how, how's that actually happened? I actually don't even know. I'm gobsmacked. All right, well, I mean, I suppose I'm going to have to run all the way back over the bus depot. Because I am not waiting for Ted to make a massive loop all the way around the map again. Actually not happening. See, at least with these ballistic knives, we've run decently fast. So I'm not really that worried about, like, being too slow or anything like that. It would have been nice if I could have stamina up, but what can you do? Game said now. Nah. I really want to check out the mod where people made, um, diner and like the tunnel i think there's some like other parts of the map they turn them into survival maps i really want to check the, that, that whole mod out but yeah let me know if that's something you guys would want because i'd be so down to do it yeah there we go all right we got ourselves a new turbine hopefully it doesn't break as quick as the last one all right come on straight to the cornfield game and you know what i'll just fucking run it oh yeah actually, we're pretty close but honestly not as far away as i thought it was okay so all we've got to do is stand under here where like the lightning is and end the round and from there the avogadro might spawn in there's a big emphasis on might because usually when it comes to this step the game really likes to make me wait currently it's making me wait for the fucking zombie. Where is bro at? He's actually hiding from me. Okay, here he is. Fucking hell. All right, is the other guy gonna spawn in? Uh, no, I do not see bro. He is hiding. All right, well, I mean, I guess we'll just sit here and wait till he spawns in. It's gonna take a hot minute, but believe. I really don't know how long it's gonna take for him to spawn in. Right, is it bad? I'd actually rather do the rick top inside. Holy shit. Zombies are so slow in this area. Hey, did he spawn in? But I don't think he did. Okay, maybe next round. Oh, bro, I should go yawning. Holy shit. Ready for bed after this. You got fucking insomnia, bro. Just play a game of transit and try and do the max is easter egg just bro you'll be out like jake paul against mike tyson bro like actually gonzo because they spawn so far like down into the cornfield i don't know why they do that i mean i guess it's obviously to like try and limit the spawns because otherwise this would probably be the fastest spawn but bro like outside the easter egg who's actually here anyways not me you catch me slipping around these parts okay are you last guy you were last guy is the other guy gonna spawn in i don't hear him i don't see him either bro said nah little boy you go away one more round bro honestly if i hear Malton say the same quote one more fucking time bro he just keeps saying if i wanted to die i would jump off a bridge like bro Malton, bro I was asking you to fucking die, bro. You're just killing zombies, bro. Like, stop over-exaggerating and you little drama queen. Now, bro, I'm not saying Malton's racist, but he does have something against Russ, man. So, is Malton the, like, biggest L? I don't know, bro. He hates the Russie. I mean, who can hate the Russie? Oh, my God. You are joking, bro. Oh, he's here. Oh, uh, okay. Um, throw that down there. I think I drove, bro. Get in here. Actually, get your ass in here, bro. Right this second. I'm actually not even playing around, bro. On oh, God. I'm throwing out all the TikTok phrases. Come on. Oh, my God. He's here. Um, okay. Go for it. I had to save my turbine. You are fucking joking, bro. I'm actually so dumb, bro. I'm pretty sure I just failed it because I disabled the turbine, even though it was nowhere fucking near it, by the way. Oh, bro, I'm raging. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm mad. I'm grumpy. Oh, wait, what? Wait, 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 okay. I, I'm going to take it, bro. I'm actually taking it. I'm fucking taking it, bro. I don't even care. It's, it's not even on. We still have the Easter egg. So how's he do it, bro? <laughs> Actual fucking professional gamer. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, I'm kind of the best transit player around. I don't know. Yeah, don't worry, boys. You guys can get your autograph. Also, you know, this is the reward, by the way. Like, every now and then, the pylon just drops, like, three power-ups and they change. So, like, obviously, it was a carbon before. Now it's an insta now it's a nuke. That's actually the reward of transit. I never knew that, by the way. Like, I always thought, like, you just get tower going and that's it. But in every single game that you've got this tower glowing, you actually get a um, power up underneath it every now and then. And it changes. So you could get yourself, like, max ammo and stuff like that if you needed to. It's actually pretty cool. I, I actually did not know that. Let me know if you guys knew that. Oh, but yeah, there we go. Well, it's, I guess that's transit done. I was not expecting that to actually be done because I was convinced the game was out to get me. But yeah, there we go. I mean, how long did it even take? 21 minutes? Bro, this part of the video is actually going to be like six minutes long. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there we go, boys. So that is the Maxis Transit Easter egg done. We never have to play this game uh, easter egg again at least for this video so yeah let's waste no more time then get off this poopy brown looking map and hop straight onto die rise all right boys so back onto die rise obviously we got the max's side now i am a little bit worried about the max's side because it's just like needlessly more complicated than the ricked oven side uh, and with the solo easter egg mod it can be kind of buggy but apparently it's like an updated version so hopefully you know it just won't break on me but we'll just see how it goes all right so let's get the basics on the go first anyways so obviously we've got to build the tremble steam so let me go ahead and start getting all the parts all right come on just oh die here please oh come on okay nice all right so let's go ahead and add all of the parts onto the buildable bench that's right all right i'm pulling out the specific keywords here all right the right terminology so put on the flag and there we go we've got the tremble seam so now we just gotta wait for the elevator so i guess just like last time we can go ahead and check what this mahjong tile is okay so we've got black nor oh cool. again all right all we need is we just need two of the symbols once we have that we're all good all right so let's head up here so let's take the big elevator shift down that's a big elevator shift bro i actually you know, like english is just not on my side at any point in my life born and raised speaking english but somehow still 
still can't do it. That is crazy. Uh, also, we're going to need quite a lot of points for this. But I'm going to whip out the 50k. So let's turn on the power. Or uh, pack and shit. That's actually good to know. I don't think we even need this liquefy for this Easter egg. No, I'm pretty sure we don't. So yeah, I'm just not even going to worry about it. But what I can do is I can go ahead and start the Easter egg by stepping on that. Also, I want to have a look for the Mahjong tile while I'm down here. Bro, am I having like an actual brain fart? Or, yeah, it's here. Well, it's not here, but this is where the spot was. Okay, I was going to say like, <laughs> where the fuck was it? All right, we're all good though, bro. Not even sweating out. Sometimes I think like these are the Mahjong tiles because like kind of like glow white, uh, but they're not. It's just a weird lighting issue. There is a Mahjong tile here though. So that is red sal. So that's kind of big. Also, I want to make sure I'm stepping on these. So obviously that one's not it. Because we need to find the symbol that's like first in the order. Bro, I'm surprised it still works. I thought this got patched. Like where you couldn't just hold a zombie in a window anymore. I mean, bro isn't trying to like reach out and kill me. So All right, well, either way, let's start heading up. Let me go ahead and check to see if this is the symbol we need to step on. No, okay, it's not. And is there a Mahjong tile here? There it is. That is blue uh, east. Currently not having the best look here, but what can you do? Okay, so I need to take the elevator up because I need to buy the SVU. Plus I can check to see if there's like the right symbol in the order just up here. So is it this one? Yeah, okay, it is. Nice. So then if I come in here, so we can buy ourselves the SVU. So let's shoot the bulls out of the dragon's mouth. There we go. Obviously this is where we choose if we want to do Maxis or Richtofen. So as you saw with the Richtofen side, we had to go shoot the bulls with the liquefier. Uh, but for Maxis, we got to go get kills in the Buddha room. So let me make my way down here. Uh, and while I'm here, I'm going to start hitting the box because we need to try and get ballistic knives as well. The game actually blessed me with these ballistic knives real fast. Okay, you gave me the ray gun. I mean, I can't exactly complain, but I'm going to complain because I need the ballistic knife. Oh, and we just got the better box pub perk. All right, it's over. We definitely ain't getting the fucking ballistic knife now. All right, well, kind of unlucky, but bro, are you joking, bro? It's got green west. We literally have all the directions, but none of the numbers. That is wacky. Also, I do need the galvanicles, but I can't buy them yet. I'm pretty sure if you buy the galvanicles uh, before you do one of the ballistic knife steps, uh, it like glitches the game. So I'm just going to wait on that. Also, we found green four, which means west is the fourth uh, in the order. Also, I think that's blue too. So we can technically now figure it out. Honestly, too easy. Okay, I think I'm just going to go for the ballistic knife before I do any more of the max size steps because I don't really want to have to like do the step down there, then come back up then go back down, then go back up. You know what I mean? I'd rather just like finish up everything I need to do and then just continue on like the whole Easter egg and bash through it. Also, I really don't know how to feel that the mystery box has like two locations. It doesn't feel right to me. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. That's free. What am I waffling on about? It's straight up a lion. A little bit of trolling right there. I'm pretty sure there's only three. I don't think there's a fourth location, is there? Because there's this one, the one we were just at, then just before the slide down. I'm pretty sure it's all four of them. Oh, oh, bro, fucking finally, bro. Oh, bro, I need to pack a punch it. Do I even want to risk it? You know what? Nah, bro, I could have risked it. I could have just risked it. I'm not doing it now, though. All right, so if I put the elevator key in here, uh, it should come back up. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Big brain strategy. Now we can pack a bunch of safely. Same with our Reagan here. Okay, so there we go. Now that we got this, we can continue on with the Easter egg. Okay, so let's make our way. Oh my god, bro. That was all oh my bro. I actually like had a heart attack. That was the scariest shit I've ever seen. All right, well, all we gotta do now, I believe, is just get kills in this room. And then, yeah, eventually Maxis will just like tell us we're done. And then we just gotta shoot a random shot in this room. Bro, where even is the last zombie at? I can hear him, but like, actually nowhere to be seen. Where is bro at? Is he up there? Oh, yeah, he was up there. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so Max is telling me to like keep going. So I don't know how many kills it actually takes, but hopefully it's not too many. Also, before recording this, I watched a video about like XQC and this other person called like Adept or something like that. Bro, I don't watch XQC or like, like, you know, personally care about the law, but bro, that whole situation went kind of like crazy, you know? Like apparently she put like a restraining order on him and then proceeded to go to his house and she went to like sue him for like a bunch of, um, like a bunch of his assets and like all of his money and stuff like that, bro. It was crazy. But like, even went into like some of the background, like bro gets swatted on like a daily basis. Like, I say, he, he was getting swatted. I, I don't know if that's still happening or not. Yeah, bro. I was just like, God damn. I will never understand why people swat other people, bro. Like, I'm honestly curious, like, what type of enjoyment they get out of it. Wait, bro, Max is like, what is going on, bro? Are you nearly done? This tutorial I'm watching, he got the step complete on round three, so you'd think it would be done soon, but my main issue is just how slow the zombies are, bro. Like, honest to God, speed up. Like, I think overall, I prefer the Rick's Offen side to all of these Easter eggs because everything to do with, like, the Max's side is just so slow. Like, with Transit, you've got to, like, wait for the Avogadro to spawn in. In Die Rise, you got to do this fucking step. Obviously, it, you know, it'd be a lot quicker if I was doing it on a higher round, but why would I go to a higher round for? Don't even be silly, little Billy. But yeah, even when we go on to like the uh, buried Maxis side Easter egg, that bro, the first step compared to the Rick's Offen side is just so annoying. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, it's starting to ramp up a little bit now. I'm gonna hope we're not done. I mean, I, can, I guess I can test it. We just shoot the ballistic knife down. No, I ain't doing anything. I mean, we're going on to the next round. We're going to these rounds. I mean, I'm hoping they count. Oh, bro, I got fucking mule kick. Oh, this is a joke. Wait, apparently, I need to get 15 kills like consecutively. So, like, it says I can't leave the Buddha room. It says, like, if I get kills outside the boot room, it resets the progress. So, like, where counts? I'm just gonna do it where he does it in the video. Do it right here. Because what counts as the boot room and what doesn't? Uh, Max is saying that we're done, or was that just Max is saying, like, a quote? I don't know, but by the looks of it, we need to stand right here for it to count. Oh, uh, I shot a shot on the floor with the ballistic knife, and it seemed to have made a quote appear. All right, yeah, so to my knowledge, we're done with this
on our calls. All right, up we go. See you later, zombie. I mean, I guess we can start on the next step. So essentially, we've got to like place down these trample steams, waiting to wall the tower. Uh, if we can't pick up up, it means they're in the right spot. But to my knowledge, I could pick up all of those, which is a little bit concerning. I mean, if we do it right, Maxis will start talking to us. So, oh, uh, I think we got that one going. Can't pick it up. So I guess that's one right. Not even going to question it. All right, so let's come over here, grab ourselves another trample steam because that is what the mod lets us do. There's another one right here in spawn. Is that working? I mean, if I can place a ball on it, then yeah, there we go. Okay, so that one's going. I mean, two of them are going. Um, okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, it's sparking something. Okay. Um, always got to be flabbergasted. Okay, you know what? Uh, whatever, I'm taking it. So usually you would have to place down four of them, but somehow uh, I just placed them all on the same one and it's worked. So you know what? I'm not even going to question it. All right, I'm not even going to complain. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to go. All right, so yeah, with that, we're now onto the final step. So we're going to go ahead and buy these Galvan, of course. And we now just need to enter in the code. So it's either going to be northeast, southwest, or it's going to be southeast, northwest. But it's calm, right? Because if one of them doesn't work, we'll just end the round and try it again on the next round. Oh, look at that, boys. Look at the time as well. All right, well, let's just try it this way first. So north, east, south, and then west. Did that work? No. I think it means it has to be this way, right? And then this should be the final one. Is that right? Um, but, um all right, game. I have a few concerns. Okay, how is that not right? Hold up. Clara, explain yourself. Am I just being dumb or like what, what's happened here? Well, I mean, I guess I've got to do a little bit of searching. I mean, there's a magic tower right here. So that's black green. Yes, that literally means it has to be southeast, northwest. It physically cannot be anything else than that. Maybe I just like inputted it too early. But look, we've got a red here, which is south. That has to be one, bro. Like we found all the magic tiles. We have the right directions. And somehow I still managed to fuck it up, bro. How's he doing? All right, this time I'm getting it right. Um, Bro, how is this stuff happening? So I can't even take the trample seam now. Bro, game, don't even be playing around me. Uh, please, this <laughs> is fucking work. Okay, there we go. All right, let me get this right. So south, east, and this one's north. Then this one has to be west. Come on, bro. Has to be right. What, what, what am I doing wrong? What am I actually doing wrong here? Maybe I'm like missing it. So I'm entering in like a random order. Okay, let me just like, next time I do it, just 100% make sure that I'm doing it right. Okay, I think you're the last guy. So on, we're getting this one right. Okay, so south, east, north, west. What, Bro, what am I doing wrong, bro? Unless I've accidentally like mistook a few of them. I, I don't know, boys. I mean, like that is definitely green west. Like without a doubt. Then that's definitely green green four. Yeah, like that is 100% green four. Bro has actually got me flabbergasted. That says blue two. Yeah, which is east. So that has to be two. Obviously, we know for a fact that south was one because I went about, like, back and literally saw it. Wait, so what is the issue? Red is south. I'm, I'm, confused. I'm confused. I'm confused, I'm confused right, right now, G. G. The only thing I can think of is like, maybe like the directions are wrong. But no, that is definitely black north. Bro, I actually don't understand. Like the only thing I can think of is like, maybe I'm not hitting it correctly. Yes. Wait, what? Okay, now it just fucking worked. I don't think I was hitting south. I think I might have been missing South by accident, but you know what? It doesn't even matter, boys. We finally managed to do it. Holy shit. Bro, that took way longer than it ever should have taken. Keep in mind, right? I think we had like the ripped up side done in like 20 minutes. Bro, 43 minutes is what it took for the fucking Max's side, bro. Like, you ever doing this Easter egg for some ungodnown reason? Please just do the fucking ripped up inside. It's so much easier. But, all right, Jesus. All right, with that out of the way, we only have one more Max's Easter egg to do, uh, which is the buried one. So let's just waste no more time uh, and jump straight over to that. And, boys, so finishing up Black Ops 2, finally. All right, we have to do the Max's side of the buried Easter egg. So if I was dreading the die rise Max's Easter egg, bro, I am actually like rejecting even the thought of doing this Easter egg, bro. Like actual PTSD coping mechanism. Like I'm just trying to forget it. Because this Easter egg, right, it's not hard because it's buried. But by God, is it just long? Like for no reason. So yeah, first things first, can I make this cheeky little jump? No, I can't, bro. Okay, maybe someday. Uh, but yeah, unlike the ricked up inside of this Easter egg, instead of like filling up the orbs with the paralyzer, we actually need to like break them, right? Now we do that using like the uh, the subsurface resonator and the turbine. Now, if you're smart, you might have realized the issue here, okay? And that is that you can only hold one buildable at a time. So what that means is we've got to keep going back and forward uh, with the turbine and the subsurface resonator, break all of the orbs, right? And there's four of them. And bro, it just takes time, innit? But yeah, let's go ahead and add some of these parts onto the, uh, the noose here. Also come over here and pick up this. Then we'll also go ahead and free Leroy. Oh, there we go. Now, although we don't need the paralyzer, I think I'm still, like, still going to go for it anyways, just for the extra mobility, because it would be kind of useful. So let's add on the light bulbs. Then we'll have Leroy come over here and just quickly lock the box down for us. All right, now this worked last time. Let's get it again, boys. Look at that. Bam. I'm going to hope, uh, by the way, that it worked. Uh, if it, but Look at that, bro. It works every time. I'm telling you, bro. Secret life hack. Uh, we do actually need time bombs as well for this. So we're going to keep hitting it for a bit. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, bro. And we get the Reagan. It's actually just that easy. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, I'm going to grab the boots real quick. Uh, and I'm just going to have Leroy come and break this barricade all the way over here. So come on, little slow boy. There we go. Let's go ahead and give him that. And then just behind here, should be the battery then that is the last part we need for the noose so now that we've done all of that we need to build both the turbine and the subsurface resonator so i'm 
I'm actually going to have Leroy help me out because I don't really feel like doing this all on my own. So if I come in here and grab the candy, then bring Leroy all the way over here with me. Uh, if I build at least the first part and then give candy to Leroy, he should go and find all the other parts for me and then build it up for us. And then essentially that just lets me focus on building the turbine. Then we can just start working on the um, kind of like first step to this. This Easter egg actually isn't that bad on co-op. It's just on solo where it's annoying. And it's not even like it's just annoying for one step. Like, nah, trust me, it, it gets worse. So let's add this part on. Uh, and then we just need like the fin thing over here. What even is this part? I actually have no idea what the point of it is. Maybe it is like a fin. Honestly, God, who knows? Uh, but yeah, so if I go ahead and place this down here, grab me a subsurface resin here. They start down there. As soon as that breaks, there we go. That'll lock us into the Maxis path now. I mean, to be fair, the second we put on the um, antenna onto the noose, that kind of locked us into the Maxis path. So we'll do this one next. Hopefully that zombie doesn't break it. If he does, I will not be a happy bunny. Oh, bro, leave it alone. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, bro, you actual knobhead. All right, whatever. At least we managed to break the old before uh, he destroyed the turbine. What a prick. All right, whatever. We got this one over here next. To be fair, having a paralyzer makes it so much quicker. I will give it that. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and break that one there. So there we go. Then obviously the last one we have to do is all the way behind the witch's house. So before I head over there, I just want to quickly turn on the power and I want to make my way in here and buy vultures aid. And then we'll head over here. And the while I'm back here, I'm also going to go ahead and buy uh, stamina up for like the final step of this Easter egg, or, like the second to last step, because that is going to involve a lot of running. So uh, bam. So what's that free perk going to be? Mule kick? That is actually the saddest thing I think I've seen all day. But what can you do? Okay, so let's place that down there. Again, hopefully it doesn't break. Then we'll come over here and pick up the subsurface resonator. Then we'll go break the final orb. And then after that, we can finally do other stuff in the Easter egg. Honestly, I think the best way to describe the Max's side is it's just boring. Like it really is. All right, so that's all the orbs destroyed anyways. So now our lanterns are going to spawn. And obviously in the Rick Tuffin side, all we have to do is just get killed with the witch. But it is not that easy on the Max's side. Because, you know, of course, why would it be? Okay, so knock that down. There we go. Uh, and what we've got to do is we've got to use Leroy to kill the zombies. And that will fill up the, the, the uh, lantern. So yeah, it's super annoying. But either way, Leroy, come over here. All right, you go to town on them. Actually, clap them up. There we go. So it's starting to fill it up anyways. Come on, Leroy, in here. Some more zombies for you, bam. You more over here. Come on, you got it, big boy. Yep, just here. A little bit more. Uh, is that it? I think that might be it. So can I add it to here? Yeah, I can. Perfect. So let me quickly whip up the cipher. And we have got... Okay, so we've got dry uh, consumption. Then we've got bone. Okay, so what I've got to make sure I do, by the way, is I've got to save this main time and then do the next step. Because if I don't put a time bomb down there, I actually soft lock the entire Easter egg and you can't go forward. Like, I don't know why they decided to add that. I think that's like really punishing. Uh, but look, all right, I don't make the rules. But yeah, so where is consumption? It's right there. Then bone it should be all the way on the other side of this. So there we go. So knife in that, going to summon an orb. And basically, we just need to follow this orb around until it reaches the noose. I'm going to follow it all the way up here. And now usually what you've got to do is you've got to have like teammates position themselves around the map so that the orb can fly through them. Or has to like fly through a bunch of zombies that they're training up, right? Oh, oh shit. Um, go, 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 go. Yeah, with the solo Easter egg mod, because obviously it like pretty much be impossible to like train up a bunch of zombies and also make sure the orb went through them and stuff like that. Uh, you don't actually have to like make them go through zombies. You just need to like follow it around. So yeah, with that done, obviously Maxis should say like, oh, it's not enough power, blah, 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 whatever, right? Not even a problem. We just go back in time and we just need to repeat the exact same step. So let me make my way back in here, quickly rebuy the bowie knife and let's re-knife dry consumption and then knife the bone one. Then yeah, we just need to follow it around again. Real easy stuff. Remember the first time I did the buried Easter egg, like specifically the Maxis side? Bro, this step had me actually stumped because I could never tell if it was like they just had to go through the zombies or if you had to make sure you don't kill the zombies or like what because yeah on co-op like this step just kind of sucks compared to the ricked off inside this straight kind of ain't it but yeah now that we've done that I think we're onto the bell step which keep in mind right I'm 20 minutes into this recording I can almost guarantee you now this next step will take about 20 minutes maybe 15 if I'm quicker by it like this step sucks on solo because essentially what you gotta do right is you gotta come over here use the lever and that's gonna make a light on this board glow uh, and that light there correlates to an area of the map that has a bell right so the left side is the candy shop the middle side is the like barn area and then the right side is the courtrooms so we got candy shop 2 so you might be wondering like jake how the fuck are you meant to tell what candy shop 2 is well you see there's actually a really good guide by someone called stickman guides and he goes into detail like how you can do the step solo and stuff like that it is extremely handy oh massive shout outs to him yeah he goes into detail like which bell is which uh, so this one here is bell 2 but yeah then once i've actually like pressed it we've got to fly back into the witch's house go back over to that ball and you'll see now that like the light is green and another one has showed up so it's the top right one so this one is going to be courthouse one and essentially you just repeat this until the entire step is complete it is so annoying obviously like on co-op it really is not bad because you just have one of your teammates positioned at each of the kind of like locations and then you just tell them which bell is which uh, but yeah here is courthouse one so let's go back into the witch's house okay so here we go we've got candy shop one i mean i, I think i've gone into detail about this uh, before in like another video but i feel like i'm honestly most familiar now with like the bo2 easter egg like that's how many times i've had to do them so i was considering making like a tutorial 
video, right? Where I go into like how to beat every single BO2 Easter egg. Because I know a few people like who get a bit confused with Easter eggs because like it doesn't really make sense to them. And I don't really blame you because like on paper, they're like the most confusing things in the entire world. But I feel like it's the way that people explain it, right? Like especially with like most guides being like completely out of date. Uh, also, we got barn free. But uh, yeah, I was thinking about putting like a massive compilation video together, like going over how to do every single Black Ops 2 Easter egg, but it's in one video, right? So it's not being stretched out upon like fucking seven or eight guides, right? It's like if you need a guide on how to do an Easter egg, like that is your video. It won't be like needlessly complicated, like it'll be pretty straightforward. Yeah, hopefully it will help some people beat their maybe even their first Easter egg. So if that's what you guys want, then like let me know. Or if you would like rather me not do that and just do like the goofy stuff like this, then yeah. Also, we got courthouse free. So bro, stamina up is actually like the MVP right now. Actually, hard carrying. So I just get PhD. I think if I had it, I've just lost it. But yeah, I do look. But yeah, let me just come over here, hit this. Now I want to make sure that I'm like definitely hitting the right bells, by the way, because if I mess up just a singular one, right, I've got to start from like the all the way from the beginning. It is proper annoying. Alright, how many have we got left? We've got like all left. So obviously we've got barn two. See, once we get down to like two left, like we obviously know which one the last one's gonna be, right? So I don't even have to come back in here. So we're nearly done. Easily the longest step on this uh, Easter egg on solo. Oh, bro, my nose is itchy. I swear, bro, like my nose itches like the worst times, you know. Like me and SPP have been playing like a bit of Apex recently. And bro, like I swear down, bro, every time I need to itch, like even my nose or like some part of my body, right? Bro, like a squad always rolls up on us, bro, to bend me over and bum me. Not even fair. Alright, open up. Alright, what do we got next? Got barn one. Yeah, I could honestly like 50 50 the last two, but I'm just not gonna risk that. You think I wanna sit there and do this entire step all over again for a bit of like a bit of banter, a little bit of a laugh? Nah, not even a chance. We are dead serious here on the Renzaru channel, all right? Bro, I might be dumb, but I actually forgot what like it just was. Fuck it, we're gambling, bro. Was it this one? I think it was that one. All right, so what is our last two gonna be? So it's courthouse two and then candy shop three. Right, Let's so just dive in this little bad boy. Bam. Okay, so court two. And if we head into the candy shop, uh, it should be this one right here. So I think we've done that right. So can we do the start of which thing? Yeah, we can. Oh my god. To be fair, it only took me like 12 minutes. I went up, came in like an actual MVP rather. Anyways, let's just do a tiny little bit of extra setup. Actually, to be fair, I don't even think we have to hit a single target. Like, I think that's the way it's coded. So is it a little bit cheaty? I mean, like, kind of. But I think the guy said you can re-enable it if you want, but you'd have to go into the code to do that. And I actually have no idea how to do that, by the way. So look, I I'm just gonna give my best attempt here with the ray gun. Bro, I mean, so far, I think we've actually hit every single one of the ones in this area. So that one there, then that one there. Bam, bam, bam. It's that one, it's that one, and that one. I think I hit all of the ones here. Yeah, what? <laughs> either way, there we go, boys. That is the end of the buried Easter egg. Obviously, I mean, we're not quite done just yet because we can come over here, we can press this button and start the Max's super Easter egg ending. Well, look, all, right, all the zombies now have a yellow eye. Look at that. It's real spooky, isn't it? But that's it, boys. We finally completed all of the Victus BO2 Easter eggs, right? All sides, Max's and Rick Topping using both the super Easter eggs. So obviously, there's only one more map left to do. And this isn't on this game. Thank God. It is all the way on the Black Ops 4 with Tag the Tone. So let's go ahead and jump over to that real quick. Right now, boys. So our final Easter egg for this video, it has to be Tag the Tone, all right? We're finally up for Black Ops 2 and we're on to Black Ops 4. So is that a blessing or is that a curse? I don't know, boys. That's all for you to tell me. But yeah, as you guys know, the Victus crew does in fact return for, you know, Tag the Totem. Literally the final map in all of like Call of Duty Zombies in terms of the Aoife storyline. Because I do not count Cold War as Aoife, okay? It's Dark Aoife, all right? Some low, little wacky little timeline that no one cares about. Uh, but yeah, it has been a while since I did this Easter egg. But if I remember correctly, it really isn't that bad. Plus, you know, I'm rocking up like, Percolic. Also, we got Time Slip. That's very nice. Uh, so yeah, you know, everything should go smoothly. Watch me say that and then everything proceeds to just not go smoothly. Okay, so also pop this shopping free here and actually go to town and open up the, the entire map. I don't even know what I said that was English, but you know, whatever. It doesn't need to be, all right? I can be a little bit quirky and just speak a random language. You guys don't even need to know about it. Uh, but yeah, let's open up here. Open up to the hermit. I think that's him open up there. There we go. And I also want to make my way down here. I don't think I'm going to have time to make my way to the boat, unfortunately. Or at least like not all the way to the power switch, but we do have some points spent, like saved up. So open up that door. And then how much is this door? If it's 7.50, we're actually so set. Oh, it's 12.50. Actual scale. Gamma rather. But yeah, now that we have like a good chunk of the map opened up, we can start working on some other things. So first things first, I want to come over here, knife this funny little blue rock. That's going to give me, uh, no, the blue rock, which also lets me open up the pack punch. So I also want to come here and shoot this icicle and pick that up, right? Because that's going to start the free Wonder Wolf quest. And we do need the Wonder Wolf in this Easter egg. So Pablo, come on, bro. Like, stop yapping to yourself. Bro, he looks so ugly up there. Bro, actually, I, you just know he stinks, by the way. And smell his dookie from here. Like, where's he poo at? You know what I mean? Because like in this Easter egg, he can carry down his jars of pee. Where's he poo? Like, where's his poo at? That's what I want to know. Not like a weird way, but just like, where's it at? Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and end the round. Uh, and I can pop another shop in for you, because, you know, I'm just rich like that. To start opening up more places on the map. Also, we'll take a few cheeky little hits in the mystery box. Wait, we got the thunder gun. Um, okay. Hey, let's. Okay, uh, this box is staying longer than I initially thought it would. So, am I wasting my shopping free a little bit? Uh, yes, I am. But, bro, this box just won't move. Okay, there we go. Right, let's just quickly finish up trying to open up uh, a good chunk of the map. Go, 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 go. I mean, I think this is pretty much the entire map. Oh, bro, I didn't open up the fucking power switch. Oh, it's so over, bro. We're never getting that b
right, so I'm kind of looking for the Helion Salvo. Plus, at some point, we need to trade uh, out at least one weapon uh, for the Wonderwall. But honestly, maybe going for the Helion Salvo right now isn't the play. I mean, if I get it, I get it. Uh, I just won't pop any more uh, fire cells after this. Okay, we finished up on my choice good ones. But also, I can come over here and pick up the box. No, man, I can't pick up the box. Actually, straight up, yapping. I still need some of the power first. So here we go. Power is on. And yeah, I should be able to pick up this box here. So uh, I guess there is other stuff I can kind of like make a start on. So let me open up back here. And we need to start looking for the zipline cranks. Oh, so here it is. Bro, I'm actually flabbergasted I found that first try, by the way. Usually that takes me a solid like 15 minutes to find. Also, there's a fire zombie. Is there uh, any snowballs nearby? Of course there isn't. Not a singular one inside. Oh, here's the uh, second zipline crank as well. We got pretty lucky with those spawns. So let's just start cranking these into position. So the second one is just here. So there we go. So next time we see Pablo, he should give us the zipline crank. Uh, and that's going to let us access the lab. So let's go find my boy. What's up, Broski G Star? Okay, the zipline crank has been acquired. The crank, I mean the handle. I'm making up my own terminology here, but uh, I also want to repair the box. So here you go, Pablo. You take this. And that gives us access to the flinger. So kind of a big W. Also, uh, go ahead and kill you with a snowball. That gives us a part for the dynamite. Obviously, we need three parts, but that's a good start. Uh, start. Look at me rhyming, bro. Can we talk in Dr. Zeus? Uh, but yeah, now that I'm here, let's pop another shopping through. And let's open up the entire facility area. Bro, I do not think there was that many doors. Yeah, there was like, <laughs> it was like four doors, bro. Actually, too easy. Also, another fire zombie. Um, bam. Uh, I missed. Bam. Uh, yeah, let's open up this door. And then we can turn on this power switch as well. That should be the final power switch I need to turn on. Because for some reason in this map, there's fucking three of them. Uh, but yeah, now we need to look at punch cards. So where do they spawn? I actually have no idea. Oh, okay. I found one. See, whenever it comes to this part of like, the, the Easter egg, I just literally spam F in these rooms. And eventually I find them. It's an advanced tactic, all right? Like most casual zombie players wouldn't even understand what I'm doing. Okay, so there should be one in this room somewhere. So where is it? All right, eventually I've got to pick it up. Oh, it's here. It's huge. Let's go ahead and put those in there. So there we go. Uh, and then all we've got to do is just make our way down here. Put the key cards in here. And then we can start to open the vault. And that'll give us the Samantha music box, which uh, we do need for a few steps of the Easter egg. So bam, fun the gun. Actually, blasted away. I don't really understand this part of the Easter egg because like, one, why is this doll just locked behind a massive fucking safe? Two, if it was so important to keep away from everybody, why was the key cards just scattered out? <laughs> just lying about for anyone to pick up and take. Actual flawless game design. Yeah, but yes, now that we've got that, it's kind of like everything we need to do up here for now. So let's head down here. So if we make our way in here, we can build ourselves the dynamite. And we do need a few of these. So yeah, I'm going to use this piece of dynamite soon, I think. Okay, but for now, I want to quickly start up the challenges because we need to do at least six challenges, which is like two full totems, right? So yeah, we do want to make a start on this now. So the first challenge is kill enemies with headshots and collect brains. You can get a headshot on a dog. I swear you can. I mean, it might be a little bit difficult, but yeah, you can. So it'll probably take a few rounds, but compared to some of the other challenges, like this one's not hard at all. Okay, so there we go. And I suppose I could also come over here. And if I make my way over to the back of the map over by the campfire, we can start melting the ice cool that we got. And uh, we can start, you know, oh, boom, cheeky little jump scare, by the way, I got you guys there. Uh, but nah, yeah, that should give us a key. So <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to stall that little jump scare, you know, get you guys a little surprise. In my uh, last video, right, like there was a few people that thought the Jason Blundell jump scare in Leviathan was like edited in by me. Nah, bro. Also, I just did not mean to buy this auger. But yeah, that's just like in the map. Crazy little jump scare. But yeah, if we get one more kill, there we go. We got all the brains. Zombies want to eat your brain. Don't mine it, mate. This one goes hard. But yeah, if I come down here, get our first reward, there we go. And the second challenge is we get some melee kills with the shield, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I'll get some shield bashes on the go. They might be wondering, Jake, when did you get the shield? Because I don't remember you picked up any of the parts. Uh, well, it's because I didn't. All right. I've got a gobble gun that just gives me it for free. Is it a little bit cheap? Yes, but you know, you got to do what you got to do in Black Ops 4, right? You guys know the rules. Get these guys. Need nine more. I think our shield's going to break, though, which kind of sucks. But imagine a world, right, where I get all of these guys in one hit. Oh my god, how does he do it? Okay, well, there we go. Honestly, it's his next challenge, which is like the most annoying. Now, you might be thinking, Jake, is it difficult? Well, no, okay, it's not difficult, but basically, I've got to carry down the P jars. But you can't sprint. I'm not too sure if you can get hit, but essentially, you just got to have a slow walk all the way down to the beach. And it has to be this beach in particular as well, right? It can't be the, uh, the other one. So there's one of them. As you can see on the left, we have to use a total of three times. Why couldn't it just been like one P jar? I don't know. But I mean, I suppose you can do it in the same round, so it's not awful. Okay, so there's our second P jar. Oh, and I can't fall. My apologies. All right, I won't lie. I'm getting pretty hungry. All right, what are you guys snacking on? Like, why am I getting hungry when I'm like doing the P jar challenge? That's just gonna be dodgy. But what are you guys snacking on today? I actually nailed it last time. I did one of these. Um, few people were eating chicken. You know, caught you guys were real off guard. See, the thing is, right? I can't say something healthy, right? Because let's be real, we're gamers. Okay, if you eat healthy and you're a gamer, like you're lying, right? You're either one of the two. You know what my big guess is today? Because I'm about to go on a rant. Boys, you guys are definitely munching on some cereal, okay? Now, you remember, uh, actually, it's not really a rant, but it's more of like a, a praise. Cereal, right, might be one of the best foods to ever exist. Because think about it, right? There's so many different options and, like, variety of cereal. Like, think about something like chicken, right? Because like, a lot of people get asked the question, like, if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would you eat? I feel like cereal just has to be the answer. Because, like, think about it, right? Like, you could eat it cold with milk. You could switch out the actual cereal itself. You can eat it warm. I know, like, a lot of people sometimes do that. And to be honest, you
can get a bit wacky with cereal, right? Like Weetabix, you can like mush them all together, kind of make like a like, porridge. You can make multiple meals out of cereal, boys. I'm just saying. I think cereal might be the goat. Uh, but yeah, I think some people are snacking on some cereal today. And you know, in terms of like, you know, what you guys might be drinking, chocolate milk. That's going to be my big guess for today. If I'm right, let me know in the comments. Also, what is everyone's favorite type of cereal? Look, right, I'm going to sound bit, like pretty basic. Honey Cheerios, like you just can't even go wrong with them. Like I could have munched on Honey Cheerios like multiple times in a row. They just go unbelievably hard. All right, anyways, all right, moving away from cereal. We've done our first challenge for this little totem over here. It's pretty easy. All I do is kill 25 zombies while standing there still. I mean, actual baby mode stuff. Next one is kill enemies with melee attacks. I'm pretty sure you can just use the shield, right? Yeah. Kind of like the same challenge just being repeated. Truly too easy. Also, I can actually pick up the key that we put, uh, put the icicle in a minute ago. A minute ago. It was like pretty, well, kind of a while ago now. Crap, I didn't forget. You guys did. All right, but there we go. So I believe the final challenge should be the soup one. Yeah, there it is. So we're going to find four soup ingredients. I say four soup ingredients. I mean, three. You guys know what I mean. All right. But uh, yeah, there should be one somewhere in here. Yeah, there's one of them. What do we pick up? I have no idea. Don't even question it. Yeah, there's another one down here. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where the last one is. Is it somewhere in here? Okay, it's in the boathouse. Okay, where is it? Oh, there it is. So now that we've done that, we're going to go put them in the cooking pot. Uh, and then we just need to throw a snowball at it. And then that should be that challenge done as well. And I'm pretty sure that's the, technically like the first step of the Easter egg. So put that in there. Throw water at it. And there we go, boys. There's a delicious looking soup. Would you guys eat that? I personally wouldn't. Uh, but yeah, that's the first step of the Easter egg done. So we can also start the second one. Because all I've got to do is just come down here uh, and turn these like little vials. Uh, I have no idea where they are. Do I have to go pick them up from the hermit? I might have to. Uh, yeah, there they are. Okay, so I can just do this until I hear a ding. Okay, so there's that one done. Oh, there's that one done as well. This one I'm pretty sure was seven. I think I saw this number. Oh, no, it was eight. I mean, straight up yapping. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That one's done as well. So that one's four. Okay, so now I think I've got time for subtitles, bro. So if I'm not mistaken, these guys are gonna like start giving me riddles, right? The fucking Riddler is the main villain of this map. Uh, and we gotta go find like the three sacrifices that they tell us to find or something like that. It's a little bit goofy, a little bit wacky, but we just moved. So come on, bro. All right, I get that you guys want an offering. What is it gonna be? Just tell me, bro. Like, stop being extra. Okay, where lightning aims, bro. Where is that? So apparently it's in the facility next to the DG2 Wonderwolf poster, bro. I don't even know where that is in the facility, bro. This class is facility. Uh, also, we can open up this safe thing with that key we got, uh, and we gotta start filling up the real device. I don't think I mentioned this, but yeah, we do need to do this. I guess it's a prayer for the free Wonderwolf. So I wanna try and fill up as much as I can without ending around. Oh, is it done? Oh, boy, it's perfect. Look at that. All planned out. All right, I'm looking up like a video. Okay, so apparently it's up here just on this bench. So there we go. All right, so next one is where lungs close. Okay, so it's in the underwater cave, kind of like near the spawn area. So I'm just going to go ahead and head over there. So I'm pretty sure it's down here. Oh, wait, no. It, okay, different different tunnel. I think it's this tunnel here. Oh, okay, I found it somehow. Um, I don't even know how the fuck to say that. Where Helix is peak. Okay, boys, it's where the pee jars are. Making my way over there real quick. All right, there it is. So then we can also give the roll device to this guy. Oh, then we got to find the seal duality. Yeah, I think this is the last riddle we have to do, by the way. So where is that at game? In the walls where Aoife was gathered. Okay, so it's back up at the facility. So I'm going to just head up there real quick. So I'm pretty sure it's in here. So if I just knife this. Yeah, there we go. Put the dynamite on that. And it should blow up and that will give us the seal of duality. So too easy, bro. Yo, give me this. Okay, what do I do with this now? Okay, yeah, we got to go place the seal down and then it's going to spawn like three red orbs around the map. Uh, and we just got to go find them. See, we're cooking right now. So let's place this down there. Oh, and what do we do with this? Or right, is this going to fly around the map for a bit? Oh my god. Um. Okay, uh, there we go. So yeah, now that we've done that, the uh, orb should be somewhere around the map. So where are these going to be? Uh, your guess is actually as good as mine. I have no idea. Is that one of them there? Or is that just like, yeah, it's just a really weird reflection. Game's trolling me. Oh, there's one of them. Okay, so what we've got to do, right, is we've got to hit it with a snowball, make it go blue. So, bam, and then we've got to shoot it, and then it's going to head back. So, nice. There's one of them. Bro, how are you guys even going underwater? You guys are literally on fire. Oh, there's another one. Uh, bam, there's the second one done. So, now we've just got to find one more, which my guess is it'll probably be up somewhere in, like, the facility, if I had to take an honest to go guess. Usually, that's where I always find at least one. So, yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yo, imagine. Oh, I can't even trick shot because I can't throw my uh, snowballs. It's heartbreaking, but all right, there we go. So, yeah, we've done it. Nice. That was easy. I do want to actually work on getting back the dynamite. So uh, let me kill you. I can't hit for shit, bro. All right. And bam. Oh my God, bro. Zombie tanked it for him. But there we go. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay. So we then need to come all the way down here and throw snowballs at the orbs again. And if we shoot them, they're going to go into the artifact. Uh, and then we should be able to pick it up. There we go. Nice. So now that we've got it, we place down the campfire. We've got to throw a Samantha music box on it. So there we go. Oh my God. Is that, that's just missed completely. Nice. Maybe it's going to hit. It's going to treat me really nicely. Uh, No, of course not. Okay, try it again. That one should definitely hit. All right, if that one doesn't hit, then I'm, I'm actually getting scammed. But yeah, there we go. All right, now we take a cheeky little nap, okay? Because essentially, we just have to sit through them talking for like, I don't know how long it goes on for, like 10 minutes, bro? It takes to eat. Oh, okay, it's not 10 minutes, bro. I'm just straight yapping there, but it's like five minutes. Also, boys, I tried this new, like, apple monster, all right? Uh, you know, it's all right. It, it tastes okay. It says, tempted to try. We hope so. Juiced monster bad apple isn't like anything you've ever had before. I shit
taste like that, so I don't know where they've gotten it. It's like any nothing you've ever had before. It's got a crisp, dry apple flavor that's not too sweet, and it goes down smooth. Full load of our legendary monster energy blend, bro. Never say full load of our legendary monster energy blend ever again, bro. I just it's gonna put me off drinking this. Bro said I'm drinking that full load. That's just crazy, bro. Alright, but they're done talking. So now we've got to make our way back over to the hermit because he's gonna give us like two rocks. And to be honest, like if I play my cards right, we try and do this this round. I'm more just worried about killing the zombie. But again, alright, if I'm like not being dumb, uh, I won't. Uh, hermit, are you? Oh, do I need to pick it back up? Oh, I've got to pick it back up, bro. What a shame. Alright, so pick it back up. Oh, bro, he's a fire zombie as well. Is it worth just killing him to try and get the piece of the dynamite? Honest to God, like yeah, I think it probably is. I don't think we need another piece of the dynamite, but it would be nice just to have. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the hermit should give me the two little rocks now. Okay, there we go. Actually, do I have to do it in a certain order? I don't know. I mean, I know one of them needs to go up here. So if I was to pick it up, place them down there. I think I do have to do it in a certain order. Alright, I'm just not going to like mess around with it. Also, there's another fire zombie there. I wonder if I can uh, snipe him out the crowd. I actually fucking did, bro. Actually, a professional sno throwing snowballs. And the man be stopped. Uh, but yeah, so let me head over here. And I should be able to place the soapstones just down here. Then if I activate the trap, that's going to start like, heating it up. 1000 degree soapstone. That's going to be my new YouTube video title. You guys remember those like 1000 degree knife trends, bro? They were crazy. Like every fucking person was doing it. It like the really red knife in the thumbnail. Okay, so there we go. But yeah, people would like over exaggerate how hot this knife would get. So like it would start like adding a few extra zero, a million degree. Those were the days of YouTube. I didn't personally watch them, but I'm sure like all the nine year olds that are probably watching my videos now, I probably did. Yeah, also, let me head down here, place down one of the soapstones in there. I think I probably could have done it in any order, but oh well, too late now. Yeah, let's place down the other soapstone down there. Oh, bro, no, 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 no. I do not want to kill the zombie, please. Oh, bro, I'm so dumb. And he died anyways, didn't he? Oh my fucking God, bro. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, we actually got uh, fucking way better perks back. Holy shit, bro. We stack the fuck up, bro. We got time slip, winter's whale, dying's wish. The only perk I think I would have wanted was maybe like Luna, but even then, like, she could just kill the last guy. So maybe Luna isn't even the shout, bro. So this is kind of like the ideal perk setup right here. Okay, but yeah, let's pick up the soapstone and let's go ahead and place that one down in there. Now it should give us the fuse. And if I'm not mistaken, I need to go back to like the metal door from the original Call of Dead Easter egg. Uh, and then we should be able to open that up now. So I'm going to hit the box just one more time because bro, it is auger. Honestly, so we just got a Helios Arbor. Yikes. Okay. So that's obviously good because I like the Helios Arbor. It's actually like one of the best coins in the entire world. But that means we're going to have to say goodbye to the Thunder Gun, which I suppose like it's not the end of the world. But yeah, it does kind of suck. So let's just go ahead and place that in there. Never fucking mind. I'm pretty sure we now need the Wonder Waffle. But yeah, goodbye Thunder Gun. I'll catch you in a bit, bro. Let's run the flip side. So let's pick up this game. Hello, please let me pick it up. There we go. So we're going to shoot like those two pylon thingy majigs. And I'm pretty sure we now need to get kills like near these little generator thingies, like these ones here, with these guys, like the electric ones. So there we go. So there's one of them done. Obviously, there's one down here. And I think there's another one, but I cannot remember for the life of me where it is. This Easter egg really isn't like that hard, to be honest. It's just a lot of steps and there's a bit of setup. But outside of that, like it's really not that bad. Uh, this area kind of sucks, but should be able to make it work. I, mean, I could just come back here once I've actually got an electric zombie, but they're pretty frequent. Like, yeah, here comes one now. Oh my god, don't die though. So yeah, there we go. There's that one done. So where's the last one at? Is it somewhere down here? Oh, it's down where we did the first soapstone. It's just down here. Okay, second one's our electric guy. So bam. And there we go. So if I make my way over this door now, it should just be open. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Elemental shard has been obtained. But they were in a small little room, bro. Unlucky for them. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna have like a lockdown now. So before we do that, I wanna pack a bunch of all of my weapons. Because we are getting like really close now to the end of the Easter egg. So can you decide where you want to put the pack wrench, please? Okay, he's doing it over there. The only thing that sucks about this map is like there just isn't a boss fight. There's like an ending sequence. I think that's the best way to like word it. Which kind of sucks, like especially being the final ether map. Like the Easter egg really isn't even that bad. See, I feel like most people get off by Easter eggs just by like looking at the steps, but once you like learn them, they're really not that bad. Like, even stuff in BO4. Okay, so I've just figured out what we've got to do next. We need to come back down here, place the Agarfen device there, and then that's gonna start this whole like process again. So we need to do the uh, funny red orb thing again. This step honestly though was like kind of unnecessary. Like, why do we have to do it again? But that do be kind of annoying. Yeah, I mean as long as the spawns aren't awful, like I don't really care. Oh, okay, there's one of them. So bam. Is there one in spawn? Nope, I don't see one. Can I see one from up here? Uh no. Okay, well, I mean, let's just head up here then. Usually there's always one just like chilling up here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there's one. So bam. That means we need one more. Where is bro hiding? I mean, I swear he has to be somewhere on that side of the map, right? The only side of the map I haven't checked. Oh, I can hear it. There, there it is. Okay, so bam. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So let's head down here, throw the snowballs up back at the orbs. So bam. Get him with a cheeky little shot. And there we go. We can pick up the agar from the vice. And then we just need to repeat this step again. So place it down there, throw the box down. Then yeah, we just need to wait around for a bit again. All right, it is a good thing though that we like pinch all of our guns now because after this next step, like that's it, bro. Like we cannot pack a bunch of our guns anymore. So the pack a bunch gets disabled. Oh, okay, so there we go. Okay, so gotta go up to the lighthouse now. We're gonna have a cheeky little lockdown. But I also want to just make the dynamite again. Now I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna 
hold it because I'm not too sure if like when you do the boss fight, everything on the map just opens up like all the barricades and stuff like that. But in case I need it, I'm just going to hold on to it. And then if I do get stuck, like I'll go from there. So give him the seal of duality. And then all we got to do now is just do a mini little lockdown. So if I make my way down here, I'm pretty sure we can just train him up. Like we don't even have to kill him, but I might take this as an opportunity to try and level up my specials a little bit. So let's get them all gathered up. Oh, um, Okay, the round just ended and all the zombies just died. Shoot, let's go. Massive, thank you so much, game. Okay, okay, I'm just going to pop this now. Get out of here, zombies. Wow, this is not level up at all. All those zombies actually did nothing, bro. That was crazy how little that did. Mate, we're all good. Oh, but we got them full power. Okay, that's kind of big. Let me train a bunch of them up again. So let's pop it and let's just go to town. This one's filling up a little bit quicker. Look at that. We basically got up to level two. I can't really complain. Bro, Stulinger, what are you yapping on about, bro? Bro, he's telling me things that I just don't need to know. Like, in the politest way. Okay, but there we go. Bro, we went up two rounds from that step. That's crazy. Okay, but yeah, let's come over here, pick up the seal of duality. Now we need to go over to the pack wrench locations uh, and charge up the seal. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in here. Also, I know, like, obviously he's not talking about it now, but Stulinger just said he used to like dogs, but there's never been a map where he's gone up against the dogs. So is this not his first time going up against them? Or did he, like, go up against them in the comics? So I've never read the comics, actually. I kind of want to read them, but yeah, I, like, never got around to reading them. Okay, bam. That didn't fill it up. How many souls is this going to take? There we go. Okay, so there's number one done. I'm not too sure if there's, like, an order you have to do it in. There might be. Yeah, okay, so there's a the second one here. Bam. Let's just get to work. Another day in the office is a uh, Captain Price would say. All right, that one filled up really quick. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to use dynamite here. I know for a fact that, like, we have to come through this way eventually. So I'm just going to pray to God we don't get stuck somewhere. But yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, there we go. And we just have one more we have to do. All right, here we go. So after this, we're kind of on the boss fight. We've been recording for an hour and 15 as well. Oh, okay, there we go. So I think I need to go back over to, like, the whole Apothecon area. I don't really know what's cool. So we're going to place this down here. There we go. Nice. Now, there are going to be three more little ball thingies that we need to, like, summon into the map. But luckily, I don't have to chase them around this time. All I've got to do is just throw snowballs at them and then shoot them. So the game knew, like, all right, two was too many times, all right? We won't make them do them a third time. Bro, but where are the snowballs? Okay, there they are. I was going to say, I knew there was some in this area, but they were hiding from me. Oh my God, bro, I actually cannot hit anything for the life of me. Okay, bam. Okay, so that's that all done. Just need to go ahead and place that down there. Throw the Samantha music box at it. Bro, I remember being so scared when doing this on PS4 because, like, using the Samantha's music box could just, like, completely crash your game. Top 10 scariest moments in all the Call of Duty zombies. Oh, okay, I think we're done. They're done yapping. Okay, so all we got to do now is just head over the golden pack a bunch. Then it is time for the boss fight. Quote unquote boss fight, by the way. So if we just stand on this, we're off. We're going for it, boys. I'm not even scared. Are you guys scared? If you guys are scared, then, you know, that's cowardly. We'll row up. I'm just joking. I say that as I'm like actually shitting my pants right now. Now we should be good though. I mean, like the helium salvo is so OP. Like if we die, that's kind of on us. Uh, but yeah, let's pick this up. Maybe, never mind. Okay, it's just going to fly off into the air. So here we go. Water has transformed into lava. And then we're out. Right, come on again. Fling me over. There we go. Nice. All right, so all we got to do is just follow this little bad boy around. Then it's going to make like three pit stops. Uh, and then all we got to do is just like fill it up and then we're all good. Really isn't that bad. I'm more worried about my shield breaking. If my shield breaks, that's going to be kind of like upsetting. But all I've got to do is just make sure it doesn't break until the pit stop. Oh, okay, it's going down. Bro, I did not see that one coming. Ooh, get me down here. Okay, here we go. So I've just got to get kills. Yeah, how am I running low on bullets? Oh, okay, well, we got a max ammo on a carpenter anyways. Easy, boys. Okay, we've got to be a little bit careful about this area. We've got to do some mad hop. So, there we go. Head over here. See, it's not this part of the boss fight that scares me. It's the bit at the very end. Oh my god, I've only got 23 HP, bro. How? How is this happening? Oh my god. Ooh, anguish. Oh, bro, I completely forgot I need to stay with this. Oh my god, bro. This is actually a little bit more scary than I thought it was. Oh my god, just don't die. Fucking hell, bro. Okay, well, dying wish has been lost. That is kind of an L. Okay, well, here's the second pit stop, anyways. Is that up there a fire sale? Just what I needed. Okay, so there we go. Okay, we're going this way now. Bro, this part of the map just feels like, like such a different map. We're being covered in lava. Okay, I think we're going up. Bro, you what? Okay, I literally just got destroyed there. Oh no. Oh, bro, please don't kill me. Pop, 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 go, 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 go. Uh, pop, 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 Okay, we got a uh, Luna back. We got Luna, bro. Oh, we are so set. Plus, we also got a uh, win as well. So I'm happy. And Stronghold, a uh, Stone Cold Stronghold. That's actually kind of big as well for the final step. Okay, but we kind of can't die here because if we do die, like, we can't pop another Perkholic. So we got off lucky with that one. So let's just make sure we're playing it safe. I think this is the last place that bro's like, like a little pit stop. And I'm pretty sure he's just going to go on the move to the final area. Okay, there we go. All right, off we go. It's kind of difficult, honestly. Feeling the pressure right now. So I really don't want to fail the Easter egg at the very last step. I can barely fucking see. That doesn't help. Anyways, all right, we're going to have to take this zip line over. So let's take it over now. Uh, oh my God, bro, please. There we go. I really don't want to like waste all my ammo though. I'm a little bit scared about how much ammo I'm using up. Oh, bro, who's pulling a fast one on me? Yo, what do you mean, bro? I'm my fucking way. Yo, he actually thought he could pull a fast one on me. What a clown. Bro, he really trolled me. Okay, if I can, I'm going to try and gather back my uh, specialist weapon just before this final part. Okay, well, here we go, boys. This is the final bit. So all we just got to do now is just get kills and survive. And then this is it. Come on, you can do it. Now, the thing is, right, it does get harder because eventually the circle starts to close in. Now that's where it really starts to pick up here. Okay, just keep getting kills. Yep, okay, it's closing them. Just keep getting k
have been done, bro. Actually, so close. I'm gonna pop my uh, specialist. Okay, I can hear the big loud noise. Come on, we got it, bro. Please. Let's end the whole sequence. End it. Oh, okay. I think we're done. That should be it. Come on. Come on. End it, bro. Why is it ended yet? Oh my god. There we go. Holy shit, bro. Bro, I was getting tense. Just go weak it up a little bit. I mean, that's pretty much the Easter egg complete. All right, come on, boys. Stop talking so I can finish up this Easter egg. As soon as I'm done talking, I can pick up the, uh, I don't know what it's called, like, the Agarpin device. There it is. And then we just need to go give it to Pablo. So uh, let's head down this way. I mean, it's nice that you can, like, explore the entire map, like, with this lava effect before you just, like, completely end the game. I do like that. All right, here we go. Well, I'll bring it down. Bam. You enjoy that. Okay, then I just need to head. I think it was actually over there. Okay, so I think if I go over here. Yeah, there we go. Bro, who's summoned in a pool? Yo, Pablo goes crazy. There we go, boys. Yeah, he's floating off. See you later. I'm going to shoot him in a few rocket launchers. I'm not a lucky, bro. Imagine he just like blows up, you just gotta get like the bad ending. That'd be funny, bro. Imagine they put like that all on the ending. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Alright, well, in a bit, Pablo. Yeah, he leaves that for us, so just gotta make our way over to the other end of the ship. And as soon as we interact with it, that is it, boys. That is the end of the Easter egg. So here it is, here it lands. Play me a Garfun device, and the cutscene should start playing. Maybe? Or do I need to go through this? Oh, no. Okay, um. Oh, there we go. So there it is, boys. That is the end of Tag the Totem. Look at that, it's crazy. But yeah, with the end of Tag the Totem, that means we've now completed every single Victus Easter egg in this video. Alright, so that is the end of the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed i wanted to make sure that i did it literally every single victor's easter egg because there's only like technically four maps so to make sure the video literally just wasn't like five minutes long i threw in both the maxis side and the rectop side so i do hope you guys enjoyed that i feel like a lot of youtubers just like do one side and then call it a day so only the best here on the renzaru channel but yeah if you guys did make it this far into the video please like and subscribe in my last few videos i've been saying if you do make it this far into the video comment a certain word and i'll pin the first person who does it right but i get the feeling that some people are just skipping to the outro and then getting the word and then getting the free pin all right so to all you little skippers all right it won't be every single video all right so maybe you know next time i might just hide it in the video somewhere but yeah that's gonna be it for the video so i'll see you guys all in the next one